Hi, and welcome to video 15 of the Quick Start series for the Analog Discovery 2. In this video, we'll go over the script editor. In addition to the 11 tools that we've discussed in previous videos, the Analog Discovery 2 in Waveforms 2015 provides a script editor for taking more complex or automated measurements. Some examples of where this might be useful is taking automated measurements at specific timing, analyzing or decoding data, and writing to different file types. The script editor uses the JavaScript scripting language and the ECMA scripting standard. Since any of the Analog Discovery 2's tools could be used by the script editor, any of the wires on the Flywire assembly may be used. Open the script editor by clicking Script in the Waveforms 2015 menu bar. Once in the script editor window, you'll see four familiar menu options. File allows you to open an existing script, save the current script, or close the window. Control allows you to debug, run, stop, or abort the script editor. View gives you access to three windows. By default, output and code completion are checked. Output is the window on the bottom that shows the output of the code. This would include errors and any print messages. Code completion turns on code completion, which gives you options to complete what you might be typing. The last option is add plot, where you can add a plot if your script requires it. Window allows you to switch between any of the open windows in Waveforms 2015, including the Help tab. The Help tab will become especially important in the script editor. Below that are the menu options that control the script editor. Debug will open the QT script debugger. This is similar to any standard debugger, where you can add breakpoints and step through your code to find potential issues. Run lets you run the code, and when you click Run, Stop and Abort will no longer be grayed out. Stop stops debugging or execution. Abort forces the execution to interrupt. Clicking the green plus will increase the font size, and clicking the green minus sign will decrease the font size. Next to those is the example button. Here you'll find several example scripts. There is an example using the scope, the scope in WaveGen, the static I.O., and a piano playing music from the waveform generator. Below that is the text editor, where you can write your script. It has all the familiar features of any text editor that you might write code in. You can tab lines to indent your code, and certain features of the code are colored for clarity. Now that we've gone over all the features in the script editor window, let's look over the Help tab, where you can find all of the available functions and resources. Click on the Help tab and click on Script. Scroll past everything we've already gone through down to the Code section. This section describes the instrument object, any relevant child objects, and all functions you can call. Below that, you'll find an additional example. If you run into any trouble when creating scripts for your specific application, remember, your questions are always welcome at forum.digitalinc.com. Now you know the basics of the script editor, where to find the information you need, and how to get your questions answered. Subscribe to stay up to date to Digitalinc products and services. Thanks for watching!